So this week we've borrowed some wheels and we're about to find out how wheelchair friendly is Gibraltar. Let's go. So Benji, we're down at the hospital. Um, what is one of the problems you normally find at this place? Well, the thing about the hospital is, when you're in a wheelchair, especially if you're more severely disabled, this is somewhere you're going to end up quite often, just for various reasons. Pretty much the only way that I know of to get in here in a wheelchair is through the ramp that the cars take. But the problem is, because it's, it's quite a steep ramp, you know, it, it's tiring, it's difficult, and if you're more severely disabled or you have a carer, say for example like an elderly couple, mm -hmm. then it, the carer also has to push you up. There is a lift into the building, but that's at, right at the back. Um, it's near the ambulance access area and it's in, within the car park, but there's no pedestrianised demarcated zone to get in there. So obviously that has its risks yeah, as well. Yeah, um, there's no sign postage. So l like you said, that I didn't even know that was there until now. So it's not sign posted, it's not pedestrianized. And even if it was, why should people in wheelchairs have to go through the back entrance? You know, it's quite a segregated e entrance for mm. wheelchair users. Of oh, course. Cool. Big pushes Forward and lean it. into it. Lean yeah. in, there we go. This is a struggle. It requires a lot, a lot of energy. Jeez, oh, that was hard, Pete. That was hard. Well done. That was hard. That was very hard. You know, now you see the thing is, if you're a tourist in a wheelchair and you stop the coach park down there, come this way with all your friends, you get to the steps here, how do you get up to the top? There's nothing indicating that there's a lift in the leisure centre or that the lift then ends up there to lead you onto the piazza and Main Street. So, how do you know? Yeah. And is that lift open 24 hours? The lift is open when the leisure centre is open. So again, that's another problem. Why is there a speed pump? I don't know. <laughs> so that I guy's don't... like, you don't, 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 don't <laughs> speed around. I really don't know why that's there. I have no idea. You see that speed bump? Yeah, one of the things about Gibraltar is that because Main Street's on a slope, you end up with a lot of shops that have ramps that are steeper on one end than on the other, or that'll have a very flat part down one end, but then they have a really big step on the other end of it. So it's something Gibraltar needs to work on is adding more ramps and less steps to Main Street. I think the problem is the things that people think about when they think about uh, accessibility issues are ramps and steps, yeah. simple as that. You know, people, unless you're in a wheelchair, you won't think about the gradient of Main Street or the design of the floor, because like right now you can see that it's quite a, it's a bit of a bump every now and yeah, then. Yeah, it is. You know, if one of these things comes loose, that can throw you out of a wheelchair straight away. Mm. Unless you live with a disability, that's something you're not aware of. So we're down in Midtown Car Park now because one of the other things you have to deal with in a wheelchair is trying to open doors and move using your hands at the same time. Mm. And being a new build, you think Midtown Car Park is quite, you know, in the know, it's quite accessible. But unfortunately, the doors themselves are really heavy. So being in a wheelchair, these are probably one of the most difficult doors I've had to deal with before. Okay.
That was a struggle. That was a real, real struggle. Heavy door, and you have to control your chair, and then you're going off, you're veering off. That, that was very, very, very hard. Very hard. <laughs>